Good pandemic morning. I'm not sure how much longer we're going to be able to say that. Um, our governor here in Tennessee has issued a statement and things are going to be opening up. That's a word we're hearing, opening up. And um, as I think about opening up, I mean, when I heard it said just last night, uh, a verse came to my mind of a way opened up. And I want to share that with you this morning before we get started in the kitchen with a recipe that is going to have you ready for the opening. Uh, but I'll get to that in a minute. The verse I want to share is from Hebrews, and it is chapter 10, starting at verse 19, because we as believers have a way opened for us. <coughs> Oh no, have I got it? It may be opening up, but people are still going to be getting it. I heard that. No, I just had a little tickle. Just a little tickle in my throat. We as believers have had a way opened for us through Jesus Christ. You know, we've just celebrated Easter and the resurrection. And at Easter, when Jesus was on the cross, the veil that separated the Holy of Holies, the presence of God, from the priests coming in to offer sacrifices. That veil was rent. It was torn from the top to the bottom. God did it. Uh, Christ on the cross made the way so that we can draw near into the presence of God. It was opened up to us. It's such a great story. It's such good news. You talk about an opening up. This is the opening that will set you free. Let me just read quickly. Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the holy places by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened to us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. This is such good news today that we have a way, it has been opened up to us, that we can draw near in faith because he who promised is faithful. So, as you're out in community and it's opening up to you and you're getting to be out there again, let's share this because you're going to hear that word, opening up, opening up. Well, I'll tell you about a little opening up that took place. You talk about freedom. Therein is real freedom. And share, share your faith. Share that our God is faithful. Okay, just had to go there. Um, people are going to be coming around in community again. And this recipe, it is Nanny's Strawberry Salad. Nanny is my mommy. She is with Jesus now. We did a cookbook, 1991, Tri-City Christian School, Wesley Moms Are Cooking. And I was part of the fundraising, raising money. You girls think that uh, fundraising to get playground equipment and the like. That ain't new, that ain't new. We've been doing it since first school. Probably Little House on the Prairie, they were fundraising. We moms have been doing this and we published a cookbook. And so we gathered recipes and this is a recipe I grew up with. Uh, my mother made this all the time. The neat thing about this particular recipe is it's frozen. And so when that unexpected company comes and you want to treat them with hospitality and have something yummy to share, this is like a banana split. It's ice cream-ish. It reminds you of ice cream. Everybody always loves it and they always want the recipe and we'd love to share it. Um, it calls for strawberries and we're coming into strawberry season. And so, yeah, what better fit is that? It calls for 20 ounces of frozen strawberries but you could use the fresh ones and it would be even better. Now, I have a little problem here at my household. My husband cannot eat strawberries. He can't have the seeds. He does eat blueberries. I hate to tell him this, but they also have seeds, but he thinks he can eat them. 
So I haven't shared differently. Anyway, I have frozen blueberries in my freezer. And so I'm gonna substitute, and I've never done this before, but I didn't wanna, I've got frozen strawberries in the freezer, but I didn't want to make this and him not be able to eat it. So I'm gonna try it, try something new, try something different. It's a pandemic, it still is a pandemic, um, but it's fixing to open up. Anyway, I'm gonna try it with the blueberries. Get courageous, be brave in the kitchen. Wear your mask if you're out in the grocery store, but be brave in the kitchen. So I'm gonna do blueberries and we'll see how this works. I'm thinking that when I mix this up with my handy dandy new KitchenAid, that uh, it's gonna turn purple. I just kinda know it is. So I'm gonna have to be real careful about that, folding those blueberries in. But let me get my ingredients together. You just put them in here with eight ounces of cream cheese, which I've already softened and I've already got it ready to go. And I'm gonna collect my other ingredients. You just mix it together, put it in a nine by 13 pan, put it in the freezer and, oh, is that the doorbell? I have frozen strawberry slash blueberry salad. And you know, you could do both. I thought about that. Was there any way possible I could do half strawberry and half blueberry? Hmm, let me work on that. Let me think about that a little bit. All right, I'm ready to dump and go. It calls for two thirds cup of sugar. So I'll put that in. I changed my blade to that paddle thinking it wouldn't um, mix up those blueberries too severely. Also, my mother always told me not to overmix the bananas. She likes a little chunk. And so I'm putting these bananas in, but I don't want to overdo it. And I'm going to save just a few here to put in later so that it uh, they'll be a little bit more whole. I've got a large can of crushed pineapple, which I have drained. I'm gonna put that in. It was interesting on the Cool Whip. This is an old recipe, and the recipe calls for a nine ounce carton of Cool Whip. Cost efficiency, I guess. The Cool Whip is only eight ounces now. We lost an ounce somewhere in the course of time, but that's okay. Uh, since it's frozen, I think it's gonna be fine. All right, I'm gonna put this eight ounces. I better get every bit. I started to buy two just because I'm a rule follower and I thought, oh my goodness, if it calls for nine ounces, I better weigh out one ounce. And I thought, no, I've gotta be set free from my legalism in the kitchen. Freedom, we're wanting freedom. We're wanting to be brave. We're wanting to try new things. Okay, that's mixing up. It looks good. Now, when my mother made it with the strawberries, it was a beautiful pink. I don't know what this is gonna be. I might just fold the blueberries in. And if I do that, if I fold the blueberries in, I could maybe mix part of this to another bowl and fold in part strawberries, part blueberries. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna get this cleaned up a little bit and get ready to fold those berries in and we'll see what we've got. This worked really well. Look at that. It's not purple. It's beautiful. And I put all 20 ounces. Carl likes blueberries. So I put all 20 ounces. So I've got that ready to go and I'll put that in the freezer. Now, with what was left, I'm gonna mix my strawberries in. My mother, uh, strawberries are bigger and uh, freeze harder. And so she would mix those in the mixer. I just folded the blueberries but she mixed hers. These I got at the store, Amish store down on 107. That's 
Scott's is going to be opening up real soon and we're gonna have fresh strawberries. So I'm gonna put these in and let me lock that. I only recently found out you're supposed to lock your mixer. My mixer that died, I found out why. It had operator error working against it. What happens? I'd only been doing it for a lifetime. Oops. Okay. I think that's good. And it's a, but you got to remember to unlock it. It is a beautiful pink color. I can remember my mother serving this as a salad, not necessarily a dessert, although you certainly could. Uh, she would serve it on a lettuce leaf. And so what you do when you're ready to serve it, you bring it out of the freezer, let it sit for just a little bit to soften, just a little, and uh, so that you can cut it good. And you're gonna be ready. You'll have two wonderful salads in the freezer and when that doorbell rings, and that company shows up because it opened up. You have them in and you share one of these delicious salads and also share with them about a way that has been opened for us, true freedom, true freedom. And it's such a great segue because we know what it's like to be kind of held in bondage, so to speak, in our circumstances and uh, People are looking for a message of freedom right now. So we have freedom in Christ and let's share that as we open our doors and start entertaining again. One more thing, life's imperfect. I forgot the pecans. It calls for a half a cup of pecans. I cannot leave those out. Pecans were my mother's favorite and it's what's gonna make it seem like a banana split. So I have chopped them up and I'm just gonna gently fold them in. This is just gonna give it that little extra that it needs. You cannot leave the pecans out of all things. So I just had to share that. My bad. That's also my bad, putting my arm across there, but this hand's got stuff in it. So I'm really um, low budget. Finished product, there we have it. So, as soon as the way is opened and you can come ring my doorbell, but not one minute sooner, when it is opened, you come over and we will have strawberry salad or we'll have blueberry salad and we'll do a taste test and I'll be ready. It'll be in the freezer and you can let me know which one you like better. And I hope you will get the ingredients and get this in your freezer so that when your unexpected company comes, you're going to be ready for them because they're coming. We're all a little cabin feverish around here. And so people are going to be getting out and visiting and, and we want to be ready to show them the love of God in hospitality. It's been great seeing you today.